Okay, here we have one Zentech HID kit ballast, which I'd taken apart. You have to remove four T10 Torx screws, and uh, this cover, you have to take a flat bladed screwdriver and kind of pry on the seams to pop this off. And once you get it off, uh, you'll notice all the stuff in here is covered with like a black jelly-like substance. Well, uh, some of it actually peeled off with the top when I took it off. But over here, uh, if you scrape some of that stuff away, you'll reveal a capacitor and this potentiometer. Just, uh, it's already uncovered, but, um... I'll show you on this piece here, you just have to just use your finger and scrape the bit off like that. And then if you take this potentiometer right here, take a small flat blade screwdriver or I got this little plastic uh, alignment tool. If you take this and turn it counterclockwise, this ballast will actually start to overdrive its lamp. And uh, I got the lamp taped to a reflector so that I don't blind myself. It just directs the light at the wall right there. So let's uh, try it out. Okay, I got a power supply, my 12 volt room, through an Anderson power pole. Have it running through this uh, ammeter. I took off a old battery charger for a forklift. 906 connector to the ballast input. Let's uh, plug the ballast in and watch it fire up. Okay, so this ballast draws uh, 7.5 amps to start. Then it runs up to about 9 amps to warm up the bulb. And it drops to its operating power, which is uh, about 3.5. Okay, 6000K HID kit bulb bluish white. Now uh, watch what happens when I start turning this thing counterclockwise. Get my little thing in there and alright, turning it. Alright. If you turn it counterclockwise, it starts increasing the current, which means it's giving more power to the bulb. And the light's getting brighter and wider. Now my 6000K bulb is now running at what looks like 5000K and it keeps getting wider as you up the power. So right now I have a little, drawing a little bit over 5.5 amps. Now uh, on this particular ballast, the Zentech, uh, if you turn it too far, it starts uh, to run away and it'll shoot straight up to 9 amps like that so try to keep it below 6 amps but I, I'll briefly run it up for you you can see uh, how it dims and brightens as I turn the knob uh, turn it back down let's see where should I set this um, now, um, I found out if I run it at the 9 amp setting, it tends to get hot pretty quick, and I haven't run it for more than a minute at that setting. I don't know what the longevity on these uh, cheap uh, HID ballasts are. You can actually get these ballasts for like 10 bucks on eBay. But I'll uh, probably keep it at this power setting, uh, 5.5 amps. Let's see, I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit. Um, maybe 5 amps is the maximum. So, um, at, uh, let's see, uh, 12.6 volts on the battery. And just, uh, I'll say just 12 volts nominal, uh, multiplied by 5, uh, so this is drawing 60 watts. Of course, the ballast isn't really that efficient, so I probably would pro be giving about 57 watts to the bulb. 
That gets me wondering if those uh, 55 watt HID kits I see on eBay are actually normal 35 watt kits with the ballast cranked up to deliver more power, but anyway, there you go. Over and out.